Hey there, life editors. Welcome to another live stream call. Thank you so much for joining me today. All right, it's been a minute since we've had a live stream. I think it's been about two months since we've done a live stream. The last one was the quarter two planning party, but we're starting them up again. And let me know if you enjoy these live streams. Uh, just leave a comment. And also let me know if you have other topics that you want me to cover during live streams. So today we have a very special topic. We are going to be talking about the May Day Month Action Plan. And if you are already on my email subscriber list, you know exactly what we're talking about because people are talking about it. People are so excited about my new email courses. But if you are brand new or you're not on my email list, just click the link in the description and you can sign up for the May Day Month Action Plan absolutely free. It's a five day video course and I'm going to be going over everything that's included during today's call. But uh, for those of you who are on my email subscriber list, you know all about May Day month and what we're doing this month to rebound from <laughs> these uh, tailspins that our businesses might be going in <laughs> and, and kind of rebound and regroup and soar to new heights. That's what May Day month is all about this month. I'm going to go over exactly what it is and how you can take back control of your business too. Those of you on my email list, you know that uh, for the past few weeks, I stopped recording videos for this channel and for my Sages Pages uh, book channel too. I was going through another depressive episode and I really just needed a break <laughs> so that I could focus on myself and recharge, regroup, uh, get my energy back. Um, I've been very open and honest on this channel and in my email uh, subscriber list that I have had depression my entire life and uh, it ebbs and flows all the time. But uh, early spring is definitely a time when it comes back in full force. And I have a perpetual uh, gratitude uh, journal that I keep. So I write like uh, one sentence every day. Um, in my gratitude journal and it's perpetual. So like year after year after year is on the same page, so like May 1st, it's got like every year on, on May 1st. Then on May 2nd, it's got every year on May 2nd. And I've noticed a pattern. Well, I've kind of noticed it before I kept that gratitude journal that uh, early spring is kind of when my energy dips, I start getting depressed. It's hard to get out of bed and I just like lose all of my energy. Uh, let me know if that happens to you too, because as I mentioned in my emails that the CDC says that the suicide rate in the United States is highest in April and May. And this is actually the 27th anniversary month of uh, the month that I attempted suicide way, way, way back in, in early high school. So it's always kind of a rough time of year for me. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for those of you who have acknowledged that, who sent me lots of love and uh, warm messages. Um, it really means so, so much to me. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. We've got some really fun stuff to go over during today's live stream. This is the Mayday Month Action Plan. And I'm going to tell you exactly what that is and how you can use it to uh, take back control of your business. Because, I mean, I'm not the only one struggling here. I know some other people are struggling too. I've seen your messages. And I want to be able to reach out to you and give you some actionable steps that you can take to bounce back. Sound good? All right, let's get right into it. Let me pull up some slides for you. See, we're getting fancy during this live stream. I've got some slides today. <laughs> Let me know if you like these slides. Um, I know most of my live streams, it's uh, just me talking and giving you the, you the information, but sometimes I do have slides and uh, I use these slides when it helps me better illustrate a point. But let me know if you prefer the slides and we can have them for every live stream. So leave a comment below and let me know. Okay. so. On May 1st, I launched the Mayday Month Action Plan email courses to my subscriber list. If you're not on my subscriber list, click the link in the description to sign up absolutely for free. And I created three different email uh, action plan courses for my clients to help them bounce back no matter what type of um, problems they were having with their businesses or how they might be struggling. Okay, so in today's live stream call, I'm going to tell you exactly what Mayday Month is. And, and I think this is, so far it's been, it, we were two weeks into May Day month and it's been extremely, extremely popular with my email subscribers. So I think this is probably going to be something we'll continue year after year after year. Um, 
I'm going to tell you what the Mayday Month email courses are, and I'm going to go through uh, each of them during today's live stream. There's three of them. I'm going to lay them all out for you. I'm going to give you exclusive strategies and checklists from each course that you can uh, use to save your biz. And I'm going to show you how to create your own uh, choose your own adventure email course. Um, one thing that I noticed with my new um, Mayday Month email courses is that I've been getting messages from people saying, this is so cool. I want to do an email course. I'm like, okay, <laughs> you should do an email course. It's a great way to get more subscribers onto your list, to build trust and loyalty, to get sales. And I'm going to show you how to do that if that's interesting to you. And I'm also going to show you how you can join the fun this May Day month. Um, I've got lots more planned for May Day month. I'm definitely going to send out a survey to talk about your results. And um, I'm going to show you exactly how you can join and get started turning around your business too. All right. So that's what we're going to go over during today's call. All right. Let's start right at the top. What is May Day month? Well, the term May Day can mean very different things depending on your background. Now for me, I grew up in the Midwest, in the suburbs of Chicago, and May Day, when I hear that word, literally means May Day, the holiday that is on May 1st, which is a springtime celebration. Uh, you might remember people like dancing around a maypole with ribbons and like tying up the pole as they dance around it. Or what I remember in elementary school, we would make construction paper, bouquets of flowers and we would give them to our friends. We would put them on people's front porches and it was just a spring celebration. That is literally the, what May Day is when I hear it. But for other people, May Day means something completely different. For example, if you're an airplane pilot, May Day is an emergency message when things are going terribly wrong and you need help immediately. May Day, May Day. <laughs> it's like an SOS message. So I was thinking, if May is often a tough time for me, like emotionally, energy rise, I'm thinking it might be a tough time for other people too. I mean, when is it not a tough time for us, <laughs> honestly? And I get questions constantly every day from my clients and subscribers and followers um, asking me like how they can turn their business around, what they can do to improve their marketing, what they can do to get sales, how can they get more subscribers? And I was thinking, you know, let's use the May Day, the cry for help this month and use the entire month of May to fix our businesses, basically. So May Day month is something that I created, and it's a five-day email action plan to help you stop spiraling downward and take back control of your business. And there are three learning paths that you can choose from. I'm going to go over all three of them, and you can do the one that's most pertinent to you and your business, or you could do all three and get lots more strategies. Here's how it works. Every day for five days, you're going to receive an email from me to help you reach one of your most pressing business goals. And then obviously I can't promise that you'll get the exact results that you want from this free email course. Remember, it's a free email course. This is not a magic wand or anything like that. But if you do the work, let me say that again, if you do the work, then you'll be in a great position to ease your business back on the right path. I really can't stress that enough that whether you sign up for my email courses or my digital programs or somebody else's emails or programs or workshops or whatever it is, if you sign up to do something like that, you've got to do the work. You can't just like get results by osmosis. You can't just like sit back and, and let the results happen to you. No, you've got to really take responsibility for your own life and your own results and do the work. And I've seen specifically in my Goodbye 9 to 5 program that the women who do the work, who step up and uh, fill out their checklists, who do their marketing, who put themselves out there, they get the best results because they're doing the work. I mean, it's one thing to like set up your website or set up your program and then just sit there <laughs> hoping that the sales will somehow start to roll in or hoping magically that, that people will find you. It doesn't work like that. You've got to do the work. You've got to reach out. So that's what May Day Month is all about. Every day for five days, you're going to get strategies, action plans, printable checklists, printable worksheets, printable guides, tools, all of my, my, my favorite resources for you to help you day by day by day get the result that you want or at least inch closer to the result that you want. And uh, what I've heard from those of you who have taken the email courses is that you hadn't even been thinking about some of these things. 
And that's like perfectly normal. It's totally common. If you don't know what to do, you don't know what to do. And that's why people come to me as a business coach to give them the strategies that they might not even know that they're overlooking. All right, so that's what Mayday Month is. Let's talk a little bit more about these email courses. So on May 1st, I launched my Mayday Month email courses and there are three of them. Each one has five days of emails. Now, these five-day email action plans contain easy to implement strategies that are focused on one specific goal. <clears throat> so I want you to really narrow down what goal is most important for you and your business right now. And you might have multiple goals, <coughs> excuse me, but I want you to focus on the one that is most pressing, the one that is going to get you the best results now. And if you are just starting your business, it might be, I want 100 new email subscribers. Yeah, so you're just building that email subscriber list that you can market to. If you're a little bit further down the road and you maybe have some digital products created or a digital online shop, you might want 10 digital product sales. Like, let's get the sales coming in. Let's earn some moolah. And if you're even more advanced, you might have some kind of high ticket coaching package, whether you are a coach, like a literal life coach or a business coach, or you do any kind of coaching or teaching, like you're a graphic designer that teaches or you're a photographer that teaches, you might want 10 new coaching clients. Here's the thing. I want you to pick the one that is most pressing to you right now. And if you click the link in the description, you can sign up for any of these three Mayday Month email uh, action plans. They are completely free or you could choose more than one. I think I recommend if you're gonna do more than one, do one first, then sign up for the next one, then sign up for the next one, rather than trying to do like three all at once. That might be a little overwhelming. You let me know. And then I want you to leave a comment, whether you are watching this live stream live right now while we're recording this, or if you're watching the replay later, leave a comment and let me know which one of these learning paths is most important to you right now, right where your business is. Do you want 100 new email subscribers? Do you want 10 digital product sales? If you want 10 new coaching clients, if you're not sure, I say start with the email subscribers because having a good, healthy email subscriber base makes it easier to reach all of these other goals. It's kind of like your push goal. It's your main goal. So focus on getting those email subscribers. All right, so that's what these email courses are all about. And again, click the link in the description to sign up for free. All right, let's start with the first email course. I want 100 new email subscribers. And I gotta say, we have had more than 300 of you life editors sign up for the Mayday Month Action Plan email courses. And this one by far is the most popular one. And I think this is a really great place to start. So this course has five days of emails to help you reach out to your ideal followers and get them to sign up for your email subscriber list. Having an email subscriber list full of super fans is the key for running a successful business, for building loyalty and getting consistent future sales. If you have been following this channel or even if you're brand new, I have, I feel like dozens of uh, videos on this channel all about the importance of having an email subscriber list. You really can't, can't minimize that because you might think, oh, well, I need to be on social media. And yes, I do recommend social media. Or you might be pushing back on that saying, I don't want to do social media. I don't want to do anything that has to do with the computer. I don't like it. I'm just going to do like old school marketing, hanging flyers and that stuff. I have clients like that too. But here's the thing. If you post something on social media and your ideal client doesn't show up to that social media platform, whatever it is, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, for a couple hours, then they've missed your post. It's gone. It's lost in the feed somewhere. I know many, many um, business owners who have like a Facebook page. This happens to me too. And we put out posts and like we only get a handful of people seeing them. The algorithms are weird. A lot of times they work against you. And you can't trust that if you post something on social media that your potential clients are actually going to see it. But everyone checks their email. That's why it's so crucial to have an email subscriber list. Because let's say a social media platform disappears. Like, I don't know, <laughs> TikTok is in a really precarious situation right now. Or let's say you uh, lose access to a social media platform. That happened to me for Instagram. 
Or let's say things change and the platform that you were on is no longer popular anymore. What are you going to do then? You can't rely solely on social media. But having an email subscriber list means that your potential clients reached out to you and said, yes, here's my email address. Give me more information about your business. They literally want to hear from you. This is called permission marketing, where I'll give you this freebie and you'll give me your email address and it's a, a win-win situation. Literally, my Mayday Month uh, action plan email courses are <laughs> permission marketing, where you give me your email address and I give you a five-day um, action plan that you can use to turn around your business. So with this first learning path that I want 100 new email subscribers, in the five-day email course for this learning path, I have a free worksheet that you can download. And it is called the Lukewarm Marketing Challenge. So if you wanna get the Lukewarm Marketing Challenge, click the link in the description and sign up for free. It's the first learning path, the I Want 100 email subscribers. What in the world is the Lukewarm Marketing Challenge? Well, I'm so glad you asked. You might be thinking, how do you get more people to visit your freebie opt-in page or your sales page or your online shop or wherever without being too salesy? This is a common fear for many of my clients where we don't want to feel pushy. We don't want to be salesy. We don't want to be mean. We don't want to feel rough around the edges because I don't know about you, but I get emails every day. I get DMs every day. I get messages where people lead with trying to sell me something. And it's gross. It's a lot of those MLM companies are trying to sell you something under kind of the, the false pretenses of being your friends, but they're really leading with trying to sell you something. And it's gross. It makes you feel weird. You don't like that power dynamic. So I totally understand when you say you don't want to be salesy. I get it. I'm right there with you. But if you need people to visit your freebie page, so you get people on your subscriber list, how do you do that without pushing it? Well, it is time to try lukewarm marketing. <laughs> I came up with this phrase. Maybe you know a better way to, to say it, but here's the idea of what lukewarm marketing is. Now, cold marketing or cold calling is when you don't know the person that you're selling to and they don't know you. Um, warm marketing, on the other hand, is when you both know and like each other. And I have a warm marketing uh, checklist worksheet that is in one of the other uh, email courses. So click the link below and sign up for the one for getting coaching clients. I'll tell you all about how to do warm marketing. So if you got cold marketing, which is gross and weird and rude, and you've got warm marketing, which is ideal, but what if you have neither of those? Well, there's something in between. It's called lukewarm marketing, and that is taking your cold contacts and warming them up. So it does make sense to sell to them. And if you want this lukewarm marketing challenge worksheet, where I walk you through exactly how to do the challenge, it is in the uh, first learning path. So click the link below and sign up for the I Want 100 email subscribers. That's the learning path that it's in. Okay, so basically the lukewarm marketing challenge starts with you creating a business card setup on any social media platform that you're on. What do I mean by that? Well, I recommend my clients pick about two, maybe at the max, two social media platforms to focus 90% of their energy. Because let's face it, your ideal clients, your ideal email subscribers are not on every single social media platform. There's probably one or two where they spend most of their time. Um, so let's say you're a photographer. You'll probably want to be on Instagram because that's where people are looking for photographers, people to um, take pictures of their graduation, take pictures of their wedding, whatever. They're going to look for you on Instagram. So think about where your, your ideal clients might be. Then once you have those social media platforms, create a business card setup, which means that if somebody goes to your page or your profile on that social media account, they know your name, your business name, they know who you help, what you do, and the results that they get. And it's got a link to your freebie where they can sign up for your email subscriber list. Um, I notice a lot of people who do have social media pages, they don't have a link to their freebie or they don't even talk about their potential clients. They just say something like, oh yeah, I'm a coach. 
Okay, a coach for who? What do you do? What results do they get? Um, I make it really clear on my Facebook page that I help women business owners earn more money or double their income. And I have a freebie that links to my double your income workshop. So think about who you help, what you do, and the results that they get. Make sure you leave a link to your freebie. Some people think they can just leave a link to their website and that's good enough. That's better than nothing. <laughs> I'll give you that. But if somebody goes to your website, more often than not, your homepage of your website has lots of things going on, lots of links, lots of menus, lots of pictures, and it's not really clear exactly what they're supposed to do next. I recommend having a separate landing page that is only for your freebie so that they can opt in for your newsletter so that you can send them to that page so they won't get distracted by anything else. They won't get distracted by your about page or your blog or your social media or whatever. Send them right to the landing page. So if you click the link in the description right now for my Mayday Month Action Plan email courses, it will take you to a landing page where you can sign up for those specific courses. There's not another menu. There's no pictures going on. It's very, very clear what you're supposed to do. So make sure whatever link you have available on your social media accounts leads to your freebie. That's how you're going to get more subscribers. And that's what this whole learning path is all about. Once you've got your business card set up on your social media platforms, then you're going to do the lukewarm marketing challenge. Now, I can't go over the entire thing with you, but I can give you the gist of it. So you're going to want to download this worksheet that is in the first learning path. Basically, there's three different levels for the lukewarm marketing challenge, level one, level two, and level three. And what you're going to do is to reach out kindly and genuinely and leave comments on posts, videos, um, and, and other like posts that your ideal clients leave. So if your ideal client uses certain hashtag, uses certain keywords, you're going to search for those keywords, search for those hashtags. And if you find a post or a video that that person seems like an ideal client, you're going to leave a kind, genuine comment on that video, on that post. What you're doing is starting a conversation. You are not leading with buy my stuff, buy my stuff. We don't do that. You are warming them up. You are literally going out there and making friends. Some of these people may end up buying from you or signing up for your email list later, but the whole point is to create a relationship, create that connection. That's what we're talking about when I say lukewarm. You're taking these cold contacts that may potentially be uh, future clients and you're warming them up. And I go over in the lukewarm marketing challenge exactly what keywords you should use, what hashtags you should use, how you should search on your social media platforms to find these people, to find these posts, what types of comments you should use, the good comments and the bad comments, um, how you should prove to them that you actually watched their video, actually read their post, um, how to determine whether or not they're an ideal client, and how to bring the messaging into direct messages or private messages if that's appropriate. So I lay this all out for you step by step by step in the lukewarm marketing challenge. So click the link below to sign up and get this free checklist. All right. One more thing I want to say about the lukewarm marketing challenge is that I have a few tips to make it easier for you because I get it. Leaving comments and searching out these ideal clients yourself can be a little tedious. So I've got a few ways to make it easier. Number one, you're going to download those social media apps to your phone. I know like you're already on your phone too much, but we're trying to make this strategic so that you can use any waiting time you have. If you're waiting in line at the grocery store, you can send off a comment. If you are zoning out on the couch watching shows, you can send a comment. If you're waiting for a meeting to start, you can send a comment. So I've got people who tell me they have no time to market. They have no time to do this lukewarm marketing challenge. And I'm like, you absolutely do. Do you have 30 seconds before your meeting starts? Do you have two minutes while you wait in line at the grocery store? You absolutely have time to do this marketing, to reach out kindly to your ideal clients, but you've got to make the time. So put those apps on your phone so you can use that waiting time to be marketing. Number two, don't overthink your comments. <laughs> this is a problem that I see a lot of people, uh, especially my clients, when I try to get them into the habit of leaving comments, they think they have to like write a novel or ask 10 different questions. I'm like, no, just prove to them that you watched their video and that you have something constructive and helpful to say. 
So let's say somebody uh, did a video about their home library or whatever, and they were going through all their books and showing how they set up their office and their beautiful home library. You could leave a comment saying, wow, your home library is beautiful. I really liked how you blank. Or have you ever thought about doing blank? Or I really appreciated how you showed us how to blank. Prove to them that you read their post or watched their video. So if you leave a comment that says something like, great video, that doesn't prove to them that you actually watched the video or that you actually read their post. So prove to them that you're a kind, genuine person and you watched their content. This is what we're talking about, about warming them up. You are literally making friends. You are creating rest, uh, relationships. You are building trust. And I, I know I'm gonna get pushback from this because I hear people say all the time, like Sage, I hear you about commenting. I hear you about the lukewarm marketing challenge, but it feels like a lot of work. Yeah, it is a lot of work, but this is where you're going to get the best super fans on your email subscriber list. And it gets easier over time. Like I can't stress this enough that you have to do the work. You can't just have a website with an opt-in box for your freebie and just expect thousands of people to come to your website and sign up. People don't know you exist. Let me say that again. People don't know you exist. You literally have to go out there, find people who would be your ideal client and tell them that you and your business exists. And you can do that in a kind, caring way. And that's exactly what this worksheet is all about. All right. Third tip, if you're not finding good posts, then, and these people that you're, you're, like finding through hashtags are not your ideal clients. I want you to change the hashtags, change the keywords. You might even need to try a different social media platform. So if you're not finding people like on Twitter, can you try Facebook? Try something different. Also, a good idea is to find someone who is your ideal client or somebody who's doing the exact same work as you and steal their hashtags and their keywords and use those keywords and hashtags for your own search. Um, a lot of times if I reach out and I find one of my former clients or one of my current clients and I look at the types of things that they're searching for, look at the types of things that they're posting, that makes it a lot easier for me to find more clients that are very similar to that one who already paid me. All right. And the fourth tip I have for the lukewarm marketing challenge is if you're not getting replies, then you're going to narrow your search even more to maybe just the past day to posts that have fewer than 100 views or likes and I want you to be patient. <clears throat> I guess that's probably my biggest tip for you if you're going to do a, a marketing challenge where you're leaving comments. Be patient. Be patient. This um, building up trust grows over time. And you can expect a 10% return on investment for any action that you take with your business. I have know we've talked about the 10% rule on this channel before. But let's say you do 10 comments a day. You can expect one reply, 10%. I know that might seem like a little bit of a downer <laughs> that if you do 10 comments a day, you can expect one reply, one relationship to start building, but you can also see it as empowering. So you might think, oh, nobody knows I exist. Nobody's like going to sign up for my email list. But if you look back at what you've done and you haven't been leaving comments, let's say you only left three comments. Well, there's your answer right there. It, it's not that your freebie is bad or that your niche is too small or that your website is weird. It's that you literally have not reached out to enough people. So keep up this lukewarm marketing challenge. Keep it going and going and going and it will build on itself. It's kind of like if you uh, run a mile a day, you'll build up your cardiovascular endurance. You'll get more fit and you'll be able to run faster and you'll be able to run longer distances, mile by mile by mile by mile, day after day after day. But let's say you spend one day and you run five miles and then you don't run again for three months. <laughs> That's not going to help you uh, with your health at all. You've got to do it consistently day after day after day. Okay. <clears throat> for those of you who signed up for the Mayday Month Action Plan to get 100 new email subscribers, I want you to leave a comment and let me know how did it go? Which one of the five days did you prefer? Uh, did you do the lukewarm marketing challenge yet? How's it going? Um, and any type of results that you've gotten, leave a comment and let me know how this first learning path is going for you. And if you have not signed up for this learning path, you can do so by clicking the link in the description and sign up for any of the May to 8 month email courses. All right. <clears throat> 
Moving on. The next email course for May Day Month is the I Want 10 Digital Product Sales email course. Yes. So this one is a little bit more advanced than the first learning path. This course has five days of emails to help you reach out to your ideal followers and get them to buy one of your digital products. Oh yes, we are talking about actually getting sales and making money with this email course. You might want sales for a PDF workbook, a video workshop, a virtual program, digital download from your online shop or something else. So this learning path is great for those of you who have your own businesses and you're a little bit more established. You've already got those email subscribers rolling in day after day after day. You're doing that lukewarm marketing challenge. You're reaching out kindly. You've got a great freebie that really resonates with your audience. So if that's kind of on autopilot for you and you've got a steady stream of people signing up for your email subscriber list, then I recommend doing this second learning path, especially if you already have some digital products. One worksheet that is in this five day email course that I wanna share with you today is called the Holiday Flash Sale. And if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know how much I love a good holiday flash sale. I do them several times a year. And it's a great way to get a boost of income without a lot of work. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Okay, so if you haven't done this learning path, again, click the link in the description to sign up. This is the 10 digital product sales learning path. All right, what in the world is a holiday flash sale? Well, I recommend doing a holiday flash sale when your sales have become stagnant. That means you might have products for people to buy, digital products for people to buy, but it's been days, weeks, or even months since you've gotten your last sale. And it's kind of depressing. <laughs> I, I definitely see this with my clients where they're like, it's been months and I haven't got a sale. What's going on? We can fix this. We just have to get your audience interested again. So stagnant sales happen for two reasons. Number one, there's no urgency. So if your products will still be there a month from now or a year from now, then what's the rush to buy? You might have seen this for other shops that you like. Let's say you get emails from other online shops that you enjoy, but like the thing is always there. The stickers are always there. The books are always there. The clothes are always there. Then there's no real urgency to buy. It's always going to be there. So you can wait and wait and wait and wait. And that's exactly what your email subscribers, your followers, your potential clients are doing. They say, oh, this program, this digital download, this digital workshop, it's there forever. I can sign up anytime. There's no rush. So that's one reason why your sales have slowed down. The second reason is there's no scarcity. And this is true for so many digital products. Digital products can be bought and downloaded by thousands of people without running out. Uh, I have a, a whole shop full of digital courses. I've got Startup in 60. I've got Life Editing for Beginners. I got my Edit My Life Planner. And you can buy those at any time. So the, the, it doesn't run out. I don't run out of digital programs. So in order to get sales, you have to do this and I have to do this too. I have to create some kind of scarcity and urgency around those digital products. And a fabulous way to do that is by hosting a holiday flash sale. Leave a comment and let me know, have you ever done a holiday flash sale? Because I love them, I love them. So I've done um, holiday flash sales uh, for, for, for like Labor Day or Memorial Day is coming up. So those of you might want to do a Memorial Day sale, uh, Fourth of July sale. Uh, I do it for my birthday. I've been doing a birthday sale for like the past 10 years. Um, and it's just a really nice way to get a boost of income. So if you are following this learning path, one of the free worksheets and checklists that you get is the holiday flash sale. And it's step-by-step -step instructions of how to do a holiday flash sale. So I show you exactly how to choose your product and we're gonna use a product that you already have, how to price it or add a bonus or a coupon code or some way to create that urgency. I show you how to map out your emails before the sale, uh, what to put in your emails during the sale and what to put in your emails and automations after the sale too. Uh, so that you can have those uh, purchases keep rolling in day after day after day. I also give you dozens of uh, sample subject lines that you can use for your emails. I think subject lines don't get enough attention that if you have a really bad subject line, nobody's going to open your email and then nobody will know about your sale. So let's say you have 
a sale, let's say you sell uh, clothes, let's say you sell, sell clothes, you, you design your own clothes and you sell them uh, in your online shop. Oh, well, let's do a digital one. Let's say you have uh, digital guides for designing your own clothes. So you have workbooks and workshops for, for making your own clothes or whatever. So you've got those digital products and you send an email that says, it's a sale. <laughs> wah, wah. That's not really exciting. I'm not going to open a, an email that just says it's a sale. <laughs> it's not exciting. So I give you ways that you can write more exciting emails, uh, subject lines, because you've got to grab their attention to get them to even open your email. If they don't open your email, you're not going to get sales. Like, let's be honest here. So you've got to be creative. You've got to spark their curiosity. You've got to talk to their pain and frustrations. You've got to like make them desperate to find out an answer like, oh, what's going on here? So I give you all of those sample subject lines to use. Uh, you've probably noticed that, that I use like some kind of questioning uh, subject lines, like the subject line that I sent out today, this morning was like need a plan. And I had a check mark emoji in there too. I love using emojis because I have a very casual business. So it makes sense for me to have pictures and images with my business. Um, and those often, if you include an emoji in your subject line, it might be one of the only emails subject lines in someone's list of emails sitting in their inbox that has an emoji. So it's going to get more attention. They're more likely to open it. So I go over all of this in the holiday flash sale step-by-step -step plan. And you can download that for free in the second learning path for the Mayday Month Action Plan. A few more tips about doing a flash sale. Now you can use a holiday or a special event to get a boost of income, to get that, that short and sweet flash sale because it only lasts two days. It is short and sweet. I've seen some people do flash sales for one day only, which is totally fine, but I almost always do two days because of different time zones or if someone's at work and they don't see the email until later, I wanna give people two full days to take part in the sale. And you do not have to make something new. I recommend, please do not, do not make something new. Use a digital product that you already have. Just make it irresistible. So add a bonus to it or give them a coupon code or add something like special and new or create um, urgency like it's going to be retired and this is the last time you can get it, something like that. You do not have to wait for a specific holiday like Halloween or something like that. You can create your own holiday, like how I do my birthday sale every single year, or you can just make up something entirely new. So I had this suggestion, the it's the live your dream sale, <laughs> or it's the, it's the whatever, it could be the Mayday month sale, whatever it is. Um, so pick your holiday, choose the two days, choose a product you already have, make it irresistible and then market the heck out of it. And I show you exactly what to include in your emails for a holiday flash sale. Just download the worksheet in the second learning path. Sound good? All right, let's move on to the third and final learning path for my Mayday Month action plans, the I want 10 new coaching clients. Like I mentioned before, these email courses grow in difficulty. So this last one is much more advanced than the first two. This is the third learning path. This course has five days of emails to reach out to potential clients and get them to sign up for your high ticket program. This is something that I really stress with a lot of my clients is that I want you to have a high ticket program, something that is big, gets enormous life-changing results for your clients, and it costs thousands of dollars. We're not talking about wimpy $10 eBooks or $100 digital courses. Those are great. And those are great things to get like daily sales. Um, and I can't, sh I show you in my goodbye nine to five program, how to set up automations to get daily sales. And I know we've talked about daily sales on this YouTube channel too, but I want you to have something that's like your big kahuna, <laughs> your flagship program, the big one that's going to get the best results for your clients and literally transform them, their lives and make everything better for them. If you do not have a high ticket program yet, this email course, this free five day email course will help you design yours from scratch. So I walk you through how to do that in the five emails. This is for the learning path. I want 10 new coaching clients. And you can sign up below by clicking on the link in the description. Okay, 
you want new coaching clients. And like I said before, this doesn't mean that you are literally a coach, like I'm a life coach or I'm a business coach. You could be any type of business owner who teaches something. So maybe you show people how to use their cameras or you show people how to do graphic design or you teach people how to uh, meal plan and prep, whatever it is, you're teaching someone. If you teach your clients anything, I consider you a coach, even if you don't literally use the word coach. Okay, so let's say you've gone through the email course and you do have your high ticket program or you might already have a high ticket program and it just needs a little bit tweaking, which I can help you do in the email course. Once you have that, then you're going to publish something called that I like to call a hand raise post in email. And I give you a template for it for free in the Mayday Month Action Plan. So let's talk about what this is, a hand raise post and email. If you have already published your hand raise post and email, I would love to see it. So like leave a comment and let me know. Or if you've got a link to it, like if it's on Facebook or something, I would love to see your hand raise post. This type of post makes your potential clients raise their hand. That's why it's called a hand raise post and say, hey, she's talking about me. This is getting your potential clients to self select. If you heard that word before, we're getting them to self select. We want them to say, I want to buy that program rather than you saying, don't you want to buy my program? <laughs> it's, it's having them do the work for you. So in this post, you're going to introduce your program and tease them about what's to come and why it's so great. You're building excitement in a genuine way so your potential clients can make the right choice for themselves without a hard sell. This is like literally my favorite way to market. <laughs> I love having like my clients like see my program, lay it all off for them, tell, talk about their pains and frustrations, what kind of results they can get, just literally lay it all out for them, make it exciting, tease them about how good it is on the inside if they sign up and have them actively choose to be a part of my program, to actively choose to sign up or schedule a free call or buy whatever it is. We want them to self-select. Because this may, maybe this happened to you before where you've purchased a program, but you kind of felt like you were dragged into it or you were coerced into it, or maybe it doesn't seem as good on the inside, or maybe you're having some buyer's remorse or regret after you buy it. Like, oh gosh, that was such a hard sell. A hand raised post is not a hard sell. It's like the opposite of a hard sell. They are selling themselves. They are raising their hand saying, that's me. That's me. I want that. And that I think is the goal of every business owner. We want people to self-select. We don't want to drag them into our program, kicking and screaming. We, we want them to actively choose to be a part of our business. Okay. So if you do learning path number three, you're going to get this template for a hand raised social post and email. So I recommend posting it on social media, any of the social media platforms that you're on where your ideal clients hang out and sending it as an email to your email subscriber list. You can also do warm letters, which is another uh, printable that we talk about in this learning path. So I mapped it out for you in this freebie of how to do a hand raised post according to my goodbye nine to five program. So I have my goodbye nine to five program and this is literally the hand raised post that I published last August to get people into the program. Um, and I, We'll tell, I tell you in the email course, I also tell you in Goodbye 9 to 5 that you can do this hand raise post before you even have a sales page. Like you can literally get sales before you have a sales page. Uh, you can literally get people to sign up for a free call, to reach out for you, just do their application, whatever it is, before you have a sales page. And I map out exactly what to include in your hand raise post to get them so excited and, and, and to see themselves in your post that they reach out immediately. I've got a few tips for you about what makes a good hand raised post. All right, first tip is it acknowledges their pain and frustrations. You might've heard this before from other marketing <laughs> gurus or other business owners, that if you wanna sell something, you've gotta talk about the pain. <laughs> you gotta bring the pain into it, like acknowledge their pain. <laughs> and it sounds so hokey because it kind of is. Like I hear people say like sell from the pain, acknowledge how, how miserable their lives are, how miserable their businesses are. And I understand that to a point. I think there's a nice way to do it, which I show you in this template, that it's the same thing that I put in my email this morning to my uh, subscriber list, 
Or I was talking about, hey, if your business feels like it's in a tailspin and you want to get back on track, well, put on your parachute and let's leap away from these bad habits and negative thinking. I think that's a nice way to acknowledge their pain without making them feel really bad about themselves. So I think there's a balance there. But first, you have to acknowledge that they do have pain and frustrations. It's not all sunshine and rainbows when you're a business owner. Like, we all know that. <laughs> so let's, let's be honest here. The next tip, I want you to offer them hope for a better solution. Because that's literally why you have your business. Because you have a better solution for them. So, so somebody might be, be struggling with something. And they might not know how to, to get to the results they want. So... For example, for my Goodbye 9 to 5 program, um, I have clients who are struggling to earn a full-time income. Like they want a full-time income from their business so they can make other choices for themselves. They could quit their day job or they could keep it for a double income or they could start paying for vacations or retirement or something else. They want a full-time income from their business. That's their pain and frustration. They know what they want, but they're not getting it. And then I can offer my solution, my Goodbye 9 to 5 program, which helps them earn a full-time income. It helps them stop chasing those $10 ebook sales and instead focus on high-ticket, high-value programs that give you, their clients the best results possible. So give them hope for a better solution. What's the solution that your business is offering? The next tip for a good hand raised post is you're going to share testimonials and success stories of people just like them. Like people forget about this step, but don't underestimate the power of testimonials and success stories. Like I literally can attribute thousands of dollars that I've made in my business from testimonials. I get people signing up because they recognize themselves, again, hand raising, they recognize themselves in another testimonial. If you go to the sales page for my Goodbye 9 to 5 program, you'll see I have testimonials from a wide variety of people. I've got people in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s leaving me testimonials. Um, I've got people with a wide a range of backgrounds of different races. Uh, and I, I think that's really important for me to show that in my business, that I work with a wide variety of people. I want people to go to my sales page, see testimonials, see success stories from someone just like them. And that makes it easier for them to sign up. That's how you're gonna get sales. So if you don't have testimonials yet, I want you to reach out to some of your past clients or even clients where you've just had free calls, but they didn't sign up for a paid program and get those testimonials. Um, in Goodbye 9 to 5, I give you an outline for how to request testimonials from people, whether they're current clients or past clients. Next tip for a good hand raised post, it's gonna outline an organized program with clear results and a defined timeline. Let's go over that one more time. These three things you must get across if you want to get sales. Your organized program, so described the program and everything that's in it, the clear results they get, what, it, what is at the end of the rainbow, what's that pot of the gold, and a defined timeline. So even if you have a program that people can join and stay in forever, like my Goodbye 9 to 5, it's first 12 weeks, and then you can stay in as an alumni, you have to have some kind of initial start period. That's my first 12 weeks. So give them that defined timeline. They want those clear results, but they're not gonna wait five years for it. <laughs> so give them the clear timeline. Say, you're gonna get these results in under a month. You're gonna get these results in 12 weeks. You're gonna get re these results in one year in my mastermind group, whatever it is. So an organized program, tell them everything that's in the program, all the things they get, the coaching, the videos, the worksheets, the whatever they get. Tell them the clear results they get. And a lot of that is from the testimonials. You're going to double your income. You're going to be able to quit your job. You're going to be able to pay for things, whatever it is. And then the defined timeline. So for my program, it's 12 weeks. So organized program, clear results, defined timeline must be in your hand raised post. And the final tip for your hand raised post, you must have the links to where they can schedule the free call, apply, or get more information. So depending on how you set up your high ticket program, what's the next step? If they see this on Facebook and they're like, oh yes, yes, they're raising their hand. They're saying, that's me, that's me. They're self-selecting. Give them the next step. Tell them exactly what they need to do if they wanna get in this program. Do they need to click here and set up a free call with you? Like I do a discovery call before people join my Goodbye 9 to 5 program. Do they need to, uh, 
fill out an application first? Or can they join right away if they meet X, Y, and Z criteria? I don't know, maybe they can pay right away depending on what your, your program is. Um, so make sure you include the link to that. I have several clients that it, I always have to consistently remind them to create the call to action at the end of anything. So if you have a blog post, there's got to be a call to action at the bottom. If you have a social media post, call to action at the bottom. If you've got an email, call to action at the bottom. If you've got a freebie, whether it's a, a workbook or a worksheet or a video, whatever, at the end of it, it's got to have the call to action. So spoiler alert, <laughs> there's a call to action at the end of this live stream. And also spoiler alert, if you do my free five-day email courses for May Day month, there's a call to action on day five. So I wanna make sure that you don't forget that. It sounds weird because we're all business owners and we want to earn money, but it's just so common for me to see people kind of lose their cool or lose their confidence right at the end and they forget to literally ask for money. They forget to say, sign up for my program or schedule your free call now or buy this thing in my shop right now. Like they forget to ask for money you're running a business. And if you're not earning money from your business, then it's not a business. It's just an expensive hobby. So make sure you put that last call to action in and ask for what you want. Ask for the sale, ask for them to sign up for a free call, whatever it is. Okay. I give you lots more tips about your hand raised post, including this uh, downloadable template that you can alter for your business in, this is uh, the learning path number three. Uh, in my May Day Month Action Plan email courses. So click the link below and you can sign up for free. Okay. For those of you who have already taken my May Day Month email courses, thank you, thank you. There's more than 300 of you have. I'm so, so pleased that this is really resonating with you. If you have already taken one of these courses, you might be thinking, this is really cool. <laughs> I really like this format, the five emails, uh, one per day for five days, upselling to something bigger, giving away lots of printables and tips and strategies. Like every single day for five days, there's really good things that they can implement. And maybe you want to do that for your business, whatever your business is, whoever you work with, whatever you're teaching. So here's how you can create your own choose your own adventure email course. <laughs> do you remember those choose your own adventure books from the 80s and 90s? Like I used to gobble those up where you'd read a little bit and then it would say, if you make this choice, go to page 39. If you make this choice, go to page 10. And you would zigzag back and forth across the book, depending on the choices you made. And like, sometimes you would win, and you'd get the treasure. And sometimes at the end, you'd be like eaten by a monster or something. So those are really fun books. And basically having an email course is a choose your own adventure. <laughs> so here's how you can do your own email course. First, I want you to pick a question that your clients or customers ask you repeatedly. So think about that. What do your clients and customers ask you over and over and over again? If you don't have any clients or customers or followers yet, if you did, if you were working with your ideal clients, what would they be asking you? What questions they're like, hey man, how do I do this? So for me, I have three email courses for May Day month and you can click the link below and sign up for them. And they answer three different questions depending on your needs. It's how do I get more email subscribers? How do I get digital sales? How do I get coaching clients? Those are literally some of the most common questions that I get from my clients. And they all lead to very specific results. It's not something vague like, how do I be more productive? Or how do I save time? It's very specific, 100 new subscribers, 10 sales, 10 new coaching clients. So think of that. Pick a question that your clients ask you repeatedly and what is the specific result that they're looking for? So use, make it a smart result, specific, measurable, actionable, realistic, and time limited. All right, so once you've got that question and like, I, like me, you might do more than one, I did three, determine four strategies that would take less than a day to complete each. Here's the thing, this is a free email course. It's a freebie, it is literally free. You do not need to fire hose them. I had a, a coach tell me like, don't fire hose people. And what she meant by that is like, if you think of a fire hose, 
like that's attached to the, the big red fire engine and you turn on a fire hose, it's literally gallons and gallons and gallons and gallons of water over a fire. <laughs> it is literally drenching everything like the, nearby. So if you are fire hosing your clients or your followers, you're just giving them more and more and more and more and more. It's not a uh, five page ebook, it's a hundred page ebook. It's not a 20 minute webinar, it's a five hour webinar. It's, it's like way, way too much. If you put too many strategies, too many to do's, or if you give them something to complete that's gonna take days or weeks to accomplish, it's too big, it's too big for a freebie. If you've done my five day, made a month email courses, then you know each day is something very implementable, very easy to do within a day. Like literally start lukewarm marketing that's leaving five comments per day. Like you can do that, you can probably do that in under 10 minutes. Or doing your hand raise post, writing your hand raise post and publishing that, that it certainly takes less than a day, it might take an hour. Um, so think about that, or, or setting up a flash sale. There's a few different steps for a flash sale, but I've seen people put together a flash sale in an afternoon and then start it the very next day. This is, this is not rocket science, it's a freebie here. <laughs> so choose strategies that are easy, 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 still get good results, but they can do them in less than a day. So you're gonna choose four of those and that's emails one through four. Then I want you to choose a call to action that you want them to take at the end of the email course. Like what's the whole reason that you're doing this email course? So yeah, maybe the email course is to get more subscribers, which is, is one of the reasons that I made my Mayday Month action plans to get more subscribers. But maybe there's something bigger that you're trying to do. Maybe you're trying to get people into a mastermind group, or maybe you're trying to get people to buy a specific thing from your online shop. Don't just send them to your shop where it's got hundreds of things. Have them buy a specific thing. Or maybe it's to, I don't know, get a, a testimonial or get them to uh, sign up for a free call or something like that. Spoiler alert, <laughs> if you sign up for my Mayday Month action plan email courses, they all lead you to my mastermind group, Goodbye 9 to 5. So the fifth and final email is all about my mastermind group and why you should join if you like the free stuff that you're learning uh, in these uh, Mayday Month emails. All right, so that's email five is your call to action. Then you're going to add email automations to kindly reach out based on the links that they click in the daily emails. Uh, so I can set this up in my CRM, which is Kajabi, and I will update the description and leave a link below if you want to sign up for Kajabi um, for free for 30 days. I also offer a 90-day free jumpstart call when you join Kajabi. Anyway, in your CRM, check to see if you can set up automations. And what I mean by that is on your day five, you're going to have a link, big button saying join my program or set up a free call or whatever it is. When people click that link to go to your sales page, you're going to automatically have your CRM create a tag on them. So a tag might be something like visited sales page. Um, that's literally what my tag is, <laughs> visited goodbye nine to five sales page. Then if they have that tag, maybe a day or two later, an automatic email will send to them saying, hey, I saw that you took a look at blah, blah, blah sales page, but you didn't join us for whatever reason. And then you can give them an incentive for joining now or for scheduling a call now. Maybe you just talk about the benefits again, or maybe you offer them a coupon code or some other kind of bonus that, oh, if you, if you sign up today, I'll offer another hour of coaching with you, or I'll give you this special workshop you can't get anywhere else. These automations, I, I can't even stress to you how much these automations help me get more sales. Um, I have a weekly email newsletter that goes out too. That's really just like my weekly video of what's going on. Um, but I have automation set up for all of the links in there too. If you click on this, if you click on the link for Kajabi, then I'll send you an email a few days later to remind you to sign up for Kajabi. If you click on the link to my sales page, I'll remind you to sign up. If you click on whatever it is, I have so many different tags that people get based on what they click. So I want you to start setting up automations for all of your emails. It makes things infinitely easier. Remember we talked about in learning path number two, how to do a holiday flash sale for your digital products. If you've been regularly tagging and automating uh, people based on what they click on in your emails, you could do a flash sale just for people who have looked at a sales page but have not bought. 
So <laughs> you don't know this, or maybe you do, but I have secret flash sales a few times a year only to people who have clicked on a sales page but have not bought whatever it is. So for example, I have a business course called Startup in 60. If you have clicked on a link and looked at the sales page, then you have a tag on your contact that says, looked at Startup in 60 sales page. But if you did not buy, so you don't have a tag that says purchased Startup in 60, a few times a year, I will do a secret flash sale that only goes out to people who have the tag visited Startup in 60 sales page but does not have purchased Startup in 60. And you can do that too with your products and services. So let's say you have some kind of big mastermind group that you only open, I don't know, once a year, you could do a secret flash sale like six months later and say, we're opening up spots, but only for people who have looked at the sales page. Um, and then you can offer them something even better without everyone in the world knowing about your, your, your flash sale. Anyway, so that's a great reason why you should be using email automations during your email courses. Like tag them, tag them, <laughs> tag them up. Um, and, and it just makes your marketing so much easier. Okay, so again, this is the create your choose your own adventure email course. If you have any questions about setting up an email course, just uh, tag me in the comments and ask your question. Or you can email me sage at sagebrayson.com and I can give you more tips for setting up your email course. Or if you literally want to see how I do it and steal, steal my ideas, then click the link in the description and sign up for the Mayday Month Action Plan email courses. And you'll literally see day by day, days one, one two, three, four, and five, how I gently and kindly build trust, give tools and resources, show my expertise, and then upsell you to my mastermind group. All right, almost there. Now it's your turn, Life Editor. It's time for you to start your Mayday Month action plan. We are halfway through the month of May, so you still have plenty of time to turn things around and save your struggling business this month. Now, I will say that the Mayday Month action plans, because it's a new freebie, these will be around for a while. So if you are watching this video months later, you can still click the link in the description and sign up for any one of these learning paths. So click the link in the description and it's bit.ly slash sage MMAP. That's Mayday Month Action Plan. So I've got it on the screen here. It's also in the description. All right. I would love to see you in the Mayday Month Action Plan email courses. Let me pop up. There we go. Okay, there it's on the screen now. It's bit.ly slash sage MMAP, Mayday Month Action Plan. I would love to hear which one of these Mayday Month action plans you signed up for. Was it the 100 subscribers, the 10 digital product sales, or was it the 10 new coaching clients? So leave a comment below. Even if you're watching the replay later, leave a comment and let me know which one of these uh, learning paths did you sign up for or did you do them all? <laughs> I hope you don't do them all at the same time. I hope you do one at, one at a time. But let me know how it went. I also want to hear which free work uh, worksheet or checklist, did you like best? Now I gave you during um, this live stream, I mentioned a different checklist from each of the learning paths, but there's more, <laughs> there's actually a lot more. Remember it's a five day email course. So there's a lot more that I did not show you during today's live stream. So let me know which uh, freebies or tools or resources are most helpful for you. Uh, and if you're going to do your own, choose your own adventure email course, I would love to hear about it and uh, leave a comment. And let me know what question are you answering with your email course? All right. So let's see. I don't have any comments right now, but if you are watching this replay later, go ahead and leave a comment. I'm going to come back and keep answering your comments as they come in. And uh, if you are ready to take your business out of a terrible, desperate tailspin and get back on track, take control, then I would love to see you sign up for my free Mayday Month Action Plan email courses. Again, the link is on the screen here. It's in the description to sign up and let me know how it goes. Because as I mentioned in my um, newsletter to my email subscribers that like, you know, May is a tough month for me for, for many, many reasons. And I just want to thank you all again for all of your, your lovely messages of support and love. It means so much to me. And I know if I'm struggling, then I know there are other people out there struggling too. And I really wanted to put something out into the world for free, <laughs> just to put some more goodwill out into the world. 
and to help you see that, yes, maybe your business is struggling right now, but it doesn't have to stay that way. There are actionable things that you can do to turn it around. And these are teeny tiny little things that you can do day by day by day to, to make progress, to get back on track, to try some things that you hadn't even thought about. And I would love to know if the Mayday Month action plan email courses are working for you. So leave a comment and let me know. Okay, Life Editor, that's all I got. Again, I'm sending you so much love, so much support for the rest of May and onward. And I would love to hear how it goes. And um, if you have other suggestions for uh, topics that we should cover during live streams, and if you want to let me know how often we should do these live streams, because I know we missed a while. We hadn't done them for a while. So let me know if you want more live streams. Um, and if there's anything else that you would love to see from me and my business. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your week. And I am rooting for you, Life Editors. I'll talk to you real soon. Bye.